Hello, it's Hero 13 here, and I want to share with you our pack ride experience. In the summer of 2016, we needed to move. We needed some basics to the place we were going to move into, then a lot of stuff we were just going to store. And instead of putting it into a storage unit where I'd have to move it back and forth, get it in and out of a truck, I just put it in these containers that I wouldn't need access to on a frequent basis and let them keep it in their warehouse. One of the things that I did do um, as it was sitting in the research in, in the uh, in the warehouse is try to research uh, more specific locations of where I might be able to have these containers delivered then I can unload it. And what I discovered is uh, when I ordered the containers, I didn't actually have a physical address to move them to at the time. So I, I wasn't able to track them through. But I just picked some addresses in very rural areas and realized that they won't take these containers to those areas. The best that I would be able to do is get that container to the closest area. Then I'd have to use a moving truck to unload the container into and then move my stuff the rest of the way to its final destination in a separate vehicle. Uh, that's rural areas only, but you know, just because I say that for my application, it may not apply for you to do your own research. Then uh, you can see here in this, uh, with a couple little photos in this mini video here, the typical construction of them, they're, they look like they're made to be knocked down construction. Like they flat pack and then you can put them back together someplace else on location. Because there's like hinges and pins in there. It's pretty interesting construction. Um, here's the next round of photos here. I feel that thing to the top, from the top from the front to the back to the top to the bottom and that thing it was full and this one the first unit came with a roll type door on it and when I went to unload that unit there it was difficult to open the door that load had shifted back and was pressing against the door um, the other thing that's on there is that they give you a, one of those round type locks to keep it locked when the truck arrives. And then there's the second container, empty and nearly full. I feel that thing, and again, from front to back and f to the ceiling f about three quarters of the way. This one had the... the, the typical hinge type doors which when I went to open, open and unlock or unload that tru uh, truck unload that container there was uh, nothing you know there was just a little bit of pressure on it it just sort of pushed the door open which can't complain about that here's a little quick video on how the door catch works on the hinge doors it's only a single position but if you don't have any way of holding that door open this is the way to go like. Problems with the container were this here is really stiff and brittle and old, so it leaked all over our stuff. This door here, here thing was broken. You can, oops, try to go like that. This here was broken. You can see the rust behind it, how long it's been that way. So the trailer, oops, so the trailer never really closed completely. And you can see, like, this is damaged for some reason. Up here. And then... I don't know if it's visible. Let's see if I can... Get the light coming through there. And you can see where the seal just is doing that. I forgot about that little video that I made about the the problems that I have. Here you can see in these photographs, they're just more stills of some of the stuff that was in the videos so that it's not all that much better of a view. 
but I was just trying to give a more clear view so something from the company or somebody wanted to see this they could see what's going on with what's going on out in the field with their products and I boy I tell you what I can't imagine where that big dent came from I think maybe one of those arms that come off that truck did it and then when we got uh, when we got that second container it had a hole in the roof I went inside there um, walk, when I walked inside there, I saw a dot of light on the floor and looked up, and that's what I saw was this. I was like, okay, I can't leave it in here like that, or the stuff's going to get wet. So I had some, um, just happened to have some caulking around. I just put a dab of caulk on it. Not very fancy. There is it, there's the inside view after the repair. It just I uh, figured that will work good enough temporarily. I guess uh, if I was a welder, I'd try to like do a spot weld on that. I think that might be the real fix for that, but I'm not a welder. Then uh, I guess the most important thing is is there's a safety catch on this door here so that if the door gets closed, you should be able to un unlatch it from the inside. The, before I set foot inside that container the first time, I tested it and did, this is what the end result was. The cable that holds onto the latch broke. Okay, so uh, I, go ahead, I go ahead and prop the door open so that it's not going to close on me while I'm in there. And I go ahead and use the container, but that's something to be aware of. Now, would I use this service again? Probably, but I would have to keep in mind the limitations on the, the range that they're going to transport these containers to. They're not going everywhere, so that might limit whether I would use them again or not. Uh, I don't remember anything odd or unusual about the service other than uh, you know those those problems with the container itself everyone from the company that uh, I personally dealt with was nice all of the drivers that came out um, seem to be good people and will work with you to try and get the container where you want it at least they did me I'm not sure that I have anything else to add to that this is Unit 13 I'm out.